Remember the Titans? <laughs> Hello humans of the universe, heroes, villains, and everything in between. I'm La Pokemo, and today we'll be talking about DC's Titans and why I hate it, obviously. So why don't we start from the beginning? Just kidding, we're starting with Robin, which is, I guess, is probably qualify as the beginning. Forget what I said earlier. So the biggest problem that I have with this show is its characters and the fact that they feel wrong. Nightwing, Dick Grayson, the sweetest Robin, who yes, has had his low points in the comics, would never act like he does in this show, or at the beginning of this show. He changes later, but at the start he's all gritty and not everything needs to be gritty. Please, I beg, I just want nice characters, it's not like the good old days. <laughs> And Nightwing's messed up relationship with Batman is bad, I mean it's not like they have the best relationship in the comics but here it's a lot darker and I don't even think Batgirl slept with Batman in this world or maybe she did, I, I don't know but anyways. I guess that just sort of goes hand in hand with making this show a drama, it just sort of makes everything more well intense and strong while all the negative parts of a relationship without touching on a lot of the good but still expecting us to like it if batman is over dramatized he becomes unlikable he might become unlikable but that's never happened so i'm not sure it happens with his villains in gotham but i've never seen that show i've heard good things though but back to nightwing <laughs> him being a murderous psycho with anger issues is just the tip of the iceberg the worst two are still to come starfire and red hood so let's start with starfire she never improves she just gets worse and stays this lifeless character who is just angry and moody which is the opposite of starfire in every way literally everything about her is wrong starfire is an unknown naive but smart alien lady who comes to earth and is just a kind dork who find solace in a group of rogues aka the teen titans she builds friendships and is a kind figure to look up to and talk to case in point her relationship with raven and all the other teen titans her and nightwing are the face of the team and yet this show destroys their whole personality some of the sweetest characters in all of dc and here they are being nothing like themselves this show loses the whole point because instead of making good characters and accurate characters, it would rather be gritty and mature to draw in, I don't know what audience, but it butchers the starfire in every way and it makes you wonder if the person who wrote this show ever read a Teen Titans comic. I don't even think she smiles once in this show. And she never shows off her lack of knowledge for man's world in a funny quirky way. It's more about her being a badass bitch, which Starfire is in the comics without needing to be a stone cold lack of personality Mary Sue. That's the right phrase, right? A lifeless character with no personality who just fits in the mold but more evil and gritty, but she's a hero. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if she shows flaws because she isn't Starfire and I get making an entirely new idea, but you don't need to label it as DC or Titans. Do something like Joker where it still takes the essence of a character but turns it into something completely new and unique that doesn't fit into the character's usual mold completely. Don't butcher the character and then claim it's right. The story of her isn't good and I don't know if it improves after season 3. But speaking of season 3, Red Hood, what the f***? I have to bleep that out. <laughs> Seriously, this isn't Red Hood. I have no clue what this is. This kid is just annoying and wrong. He keeps none of the ideas of Red Hood and was brought back to life by Scarecrow and he isn't afraid not because he has nothing left to lose and wants to save Gotham but because he's on drugs. And Red Hood's knowledge and knows in this show are nothing like the character and again he loses all the quirky and identity in exchange for grit and intensity to be completely honest with you red hood in this show is a little bitch and he has skewed motivations the reason he goes after the joker is completely wrong his reviving is completely wrong and i don't just mean because it's different from the comics i mean because it's bad storytelling red hood isn't scared if anything he's the least afraid robin he would do anything for any reason he has no fear in his eyes why is his whole story centered around it when he won't let you see his fear it could be there, but you wouldn't never see it. He hides who he is, well, which leads to more of his mental decline. And here he's bringing a baby loser, <laughs> a whole story angle just because you want a stupid fear toxin storyline. And the storyline itself isn't even good, so the fact that you sacrifice a character for it isn't worth what you got, if that makes sense. In the storyline, also, I would kill for like a drug that makes you stop worrying. Like, f forget not being afraid. 
if you could just like get like a worry-free life that would be great anyways in the storyline he doesn't really seem like the cure to a sick sad world but on the plus side nightwing has his personality as far as i can see in this season now the reason i bring up these characters is obviously because they're the ones that change the most like superboy and beast boy are fine and it's the superboy i like connor kent i'm not really exactly sure about his storyline i i forget things i have a bad memory and raven doesn't seem too far off she's a lot of the main focus in the first season like Deathstroke and Trigon are like the only Teen Titan villains. But Wonder Girl is in season 2 and honestly I don't remember a lot of season 2 like I said. Like in season 3 they mentioned that Wonder Girl went somewhere. I don't know where she went. Does anyone remember? But if you want a good Teen Titans experience there's an animated series from the 2000s and there's a movie called Teen Titans and the Judas Contract. Like that guy from the Bible. <laughs> Maybe because of Tara. And you saw, um, <laughs> that's a bad joke. But anyways, you also have a bunch of great comics if you have time to sit and read like a loser instead of just waiting for the movie. Not like I ever did that. I have a bunch of friends and important things to do. <laughs> okay, that's a lie. I have no friends. And I like being alone. I'm a huge nerd. That's what, That's my confession. <laughs> what a freak but in conclusion the titan show sucks and is trying to be too gritty for its own good in exchange for character personality and story and this show might have had its own footing if the story hadn't gotten so bad because the characters not being themselves alone isn't enough because there are many storylines where characters change and we can still get a cool and interesting story out of it and enjoy all the things to come but sometimes like okay i should give an example like justice league 3000 i think is is like okay I think that would be an okay example. Anyway, <laughs> it's a burden put on a bad idea that weighs it down even more. The opposite can be true, like something can have great characters but a terrible storyline, and it's really hard to strike a balance. Trust me, I have been trying for years with no success. Writing is really hard, so I don't blame the writer of the Titans. It's just sometimes things don't go your way and you have to move on to something else. So weird ending aside, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for the less frequent uploads, I've been very busy with work and it's been harder to find time for these videos but I hope you enjoyed and leave any video ideas down in the comments and as always stay cool, stay weird, stay you and I'll see you next time. Bye.